the Lord God, you are worthy to be praised. And we worship you, we magnify your name. Thank you, Lord, for you are God. Thank you, because there is none like unto thee. We give you praise for you are a fountain, you are life. You are worthy, you are God. You are all loving, all kindness. There is none like unto thee. So we worship you today. We give you praise always for your loving kindness. Even as we break your word today, Lord, we ask, Lord, that by your spirit you will teach us all things. You will make us new. You will renew us. You will refresh us. And you make our life whole. You are worthy to be praised. And we praise you. Even for this day, Lord. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So, beloved, today we are going to be talking about God, our fountain. God, our fountain. And to help us in this conversation, we are going to be reading from Jeremiah chapter 32. Jeremiah chapter 32, we are going to read the number of verses from 16. Yes, from verse 16. All the way to 25. A lot of scriptures. Hallelujah. So let's dig in quickly. Hallelujah. Praise God. And that scripture says, Now when I have delivered the evidence of the portraits unto Baruch, the son of Nera, I prayed unto the Lord, saying, Ha, ah, Lord God, be your dad made the heavens and the earth by thy great power and stretch out arm. Um, and there is nothing too hard for thee. Thou showest loving kindness unto thousands, and recompenseth the iniquities of the fathers into the bosom of their children after them. The great, the mighty God, the Lord of hosts, is his name. Great in counsel and mighty in works. For thine eyes are open unto all the ways of the sons of men, to give every one according to his ways. And according to the fruits of his doing, which had set signs and wonders in the land of Egypt, even unto this day, and in Israel, among other men, and has made thee a name, and has at this day, and has brought forth thy people, Israel, out of the land of Egypt, with signs, and with wonders, and with a stronger, and with a with outstretched hand, with great terror, and has given them this land without this swear to their fathers and to give to them a land flowing with milk and honey and they came in and possessed it but they obeyed not thy voice neither walked in thy law they have done nothing of all that art, thou hast commanded them to do therefore thou hast caused all this evil to come unto them beyond the mounds they are come into the city to take it and the city is given into the hands of the Chaldeans. The fight against this because of the sword. That fight against it because of the sword and of the famine and of the pestilence. And what thou hast spoken is come to pass. And behold, thou seest it. And thou hast said unto me, O Lord God, buy thee the feed for money and take witnesses. For the city is given into the hand of the Chaldeans. Hallelujah. May the Lord bless the region of his word in our lives. In Jesus' name. So you see, God, our fountain. Yes. A fountain is a natural flow of groundwater. Okay? It, 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 it's, it's a gush. A flow. It is refreshing. In this scripture that we just read, Jeremiah adores the Lord. Yes, and he speaks of our infinite imperfections as compared to God's infinite imperfections. That's our finite imperfections as compared to God's infinite imperfections. So when at any time we are perplexed about the things that are happening around us, it is good for us to look at God our source, our flow. Now let us consider that God 
is who he is the fountain of all being that means the flow of all being power and life and that with him no difficulty is such as cannot be overcome it means below that in talking about God his intention in any economy we find ourselves is that we have adequacy adequacy of life because God is the unique fountain of life so through him we may gain our source to the rivers of water of life flowing out of the house of God that is Ezekiel chapter 47 1 to 12 tells us about praise the Lord so God in the Father is the fountain the Son is the spring and the Spirit is the river and the destination of anyone that embraces this rock of salvation is eternal life is a clear destination that means the more the flow of life increases and we abandon our self-effort we forsake our direction what happens we begin to allow the river of life to carry us on so the more of God that flows into us as living waters the more he quenches our taste the more eternity begins to be our reach the God our fountain the more God measures us the more the flow of life flows in us because God is in us he is all we need to do it is in him that we live and move and have our being so when we drink of God as our fountain the fountain of living water we become the church is increased and you know what happens it means that our God who is a God of street justice who directs everything for the best that same God will save us no matter the trouble that we find ourselves and this is the comfort we have that God sees us he sees our struggle he knows that we need to remedy it and he continuously wills us to us doing all good so beloved I don't know what it's it you are dealing with but if you can drink of God as a fountain of living waters your economy will become the divine economy of heaven and so we ask you to make Jesus the Lord of your life by calling the numbers on the screen so that we can walk with you pray with you as Jesus leads us so that embracing this water our life will be made whole God bless you and keep you make his face to shine upon you in Jesus name 